Deep into the wild Himalayas, there is a place that would astonish even the most insensitive heart. If there is a heaven on earth, it is here. With these words, the 17th century Mughal Emperor Jahangir described Kashmir. Still, the paradise also has its dark side. As you enter Srinagar, a sadness washes over you. For more than 70 years, this paradise has been torn apart by the countries of India and Pakistan, leaving the Kashmiri people as victims of never-ending injustice and abuse. No one can tell them when or if this misery will end. As far as Kashmir society is concerned, it's a very traditional society and uh, education is one of the sectors where, um, you know, um, Kashmiris in general are very particular that their children should get the best of education. So up till the age of 16, you know, uh, it was a normal childhood. But uh, uh, in 1990, when the resistance started in Jammu and Kashmir, so that changed the dynamics of uh, the situation in Kashmir. And uh, because of my father's uh, martyrdom, uh, I had to take over the mantle, uh, both religious as well as political. Kashmir is a European and big jail. Shaquille Bakshir, a separatist leader, loved and respected by many fellow Kashmiris, has for more than 30 years been committed to the freedom movement. His unparalleled devotion has pushed him to take an oath that he will not marry until India ends its occupation of Kashmir. The long years spent in prison since his first arrest in 1984 have only served to solidify his view on his beautiful motherland. <laughs> बाहर भी कदगने हैं अंदर भी कदगने हैं बाहर भी जो है बिल्कुल मॉनिटर हो रहा है सब कुछ अंदर भी हर हर कात पर कदगने हैं ये सब जेल है एक ऑक्यूपेशन ऑक्यूपेशन की डायमेंशन बहुत बड़ी है ये एक ही महाज तो नहीं ये एक ही पार्टी तो नहीं वहाँ से लड़ रही है ये महाज मुक्तिलिप है या पार्टियाँ मुक्तिलिप है इसलिए हर लिहाज पर जहाँ महाज पर जो है अलग-अलग तरीके सरासर से बोलो आजादी ये मुल्क छोड़ा है ये मुल्क छोड़ा है। In 1947, India secured its long-anticipated independence, with Lord Mountbatten, on behalf of His Majesty George VI, signing the order to withdraw the British Army from the Indian Peninsula. Control of the country was passed to the newly appointed Prime Minister Nehru and his party, the Congress. Soon though, the authorities began to encounter the complications of bringing together a vast nation into a single country. The Indian subcontinent has always been home to a great number of different religions, cultures and traditions. Uniting them all into a single nation with one government appeared near unobtainable and led to great tensions that were only worsened by the assassination of Gandhi. At the end of 1948, India was a ticking time bomb on the brink of disaster and the government in Delhi knew it had to act fast. To prevent some of these religiously motivated conflicts and to accommodate millions of Muslim people, the world started recognising the Islamic state of Pakistan towards the northwest of India. The relationship between India and Pakistan was at best unfavourable and at times hostile, but both countries aimed towards a peaceful resolution of this crisis. The issues though were compounded as the Congress had to deal with more than 500 princely states, the self-running regions that had previously exercised a certain level of autonomy during the British occupation. Many of them refused to agree to the terms of a sovereign India and instead sought to establish independent nations. The state of Kashmir was one such state, surrounded by both Pakistan and India with a majority Muslim population and a Hindu king, it was uncertain as to where Kashmir should belong. Both India and Pakistan claimed the territory, 
and neither was willing to step down. It's the cruelty and the naivete of a state that thinks that you can have a, a military solution to a political problem. The reason why India and Pakistan do not want to um, take less intransigent positions on this is because it serves the purposes, bureaucratic, military and other, in both of these countries. To alleviate the conflict, Maharaja Hare Singh offered to sign a standstill agreement with India and Pakistan. India refused to sign it, choosing to wait and watch instead. The tension between the two countries started to intensify. At the time, Sheikh Abdullah started to gain wide recognition among the Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs of Kashmir, all demanding a complete autonomy of the region. When the Pakistani tribe of Pathans invaded Kashmir, leaving a trail of blood and murder, Hari Singh was left with no choice but to ask India for military support. It was promptly delivered, but it came at a price. The army was to never leave Kashmir again, and although the troops managed to reclaim most parts occupied by the tribe, a great part of the north and west remained within the borders of Pakistan. With the popular support of the Kashmiri people, Sheikh Abdullah assumed the office of Prime Minister of Jammu and Kashmir. His dream was to make Kashmir autonomous, independent from both India and Pakistan. Yet the dream soon collapsed when the Sheikh was betrayed and imprisoned and power shifted to his subordinate, Bashi Ghulam Muhammad. The new administration did not share the sentiment of independence. By the end of the 1950s, Kashmir, to use the words of the British author Philip Spratt, was in a grip of two armies glaring at each other in a state of armed neutrality. The long years that followed brought wars and regular bloodshed to the valley. Countless Indo-Pakistani wars have left Kashmir vulnerable and suffering. Today, with an average of almost 2,000 casualties per year, it remains one of the world's longest and most ferocious conflicts. तो कुछ आधा पौने घंटा नॉर्मल चला तो आधे पौने घंटे के बाद जो यहाँ रोलिंग पार्टी थी एनसी तो इसका जो एमएलए था शफी बट के नाम से वो मशहूर ने और माना शफी बट तो वो आया तो उसके वो लोग ने बहुत कैप्चर किया तो इनके जो लोग तो ने वो वो डायलेक्ट था उस पर बैलेट वो एवी मशीन नहीं थी उन्हें वो ठप्पा डालना शुरू कर दिया तो क्योंकि अंदर मैं अकेला था उस वक्त लोग सारे बाहर थे तो इतनी दूर में इतनी देर में हमारे भी लोग आ गए हमारे जो संपचार दर्द थे वो भी आ गए तो एक जंग सी हो लड़ाई हो गई तो जब ये थोड़ी थोड़ी देर के लिए लड़ाई चल इतने दिन में पुलिस आ गई तो पुलिस उस वक्त था एस पी गिल नो सिटल जो उसका वो फेस भी याद है उसका नाम भी याद है तो वो जब आ गया तो मैंने ये जो एनसी का जो कोई वर्कर था वो वोट डाल रहा था मैंने उसके हाथ से स्टैंप ले ली मैंने कहा एसपी साहब ये देखिए क्या कर रहा है ये आप देखिए कैसा कर रहा है उसने मेरे हाथ से स्टैंप ले ली फिर वो उसी को दे दी और उल्टा मुझे थोड़ा सा बाहर दो चार डंडे मारे उन्होंने और मुझे ले लिया थाने में जब मैं वापस आया मेरे घर में एक कूफी हुआ करती थी बुआ में वो भी एक्सपायर हो गई थी वफात हो गई थी उनकी भी और जो बच्चे थे मेरे सिस्टर के जो इस साइड मकान के सर में रहते थे छोटे छोटे बच्चे थे तब तो वो बड़े जवान हो गए थे तब तो सारा ही चेंज हो गया था एक मदर थी उस टाइम तो उस वक्त जाहिर बार डेफिनेटली मतलब उससे मिलना चाहता था उसके साथ कुछ टाइम गुजारना चाहता था मिले फिर मुझे दो चार साल मुझे मिले टाइम मिला दो से दो ग्यारह तक का टाइम मिला मुझे उसमें एक दो बार जेल में जाएंगे तो मुझे बहरहाल फिर भी टाइम मिला एक स्ट्रगल में पूरे लाइफ लगाई है तो जनवन का उसके लिए लगाई है तो जब हम इसमें सक्सेसफुल हो जाएंगे तो हमें अच्छा लगेगा तब तक तो पूरे लाइफ स्ट्रगल ही है एज अ मिलिटेंसी इंटेंसिफाइड द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट स्टार्टेड टू डिप्लॉय मोर आर्मी पर्सनल टू द वैली the presence of Indian soldiers on Kashmiri soil started to escalate tensions in the region. With fingers placed on triggers, army personnel are continuously scanning through the crowd, always ready to shoot when given reason to. 
In the hunt for hidden militants, the troops repeatedly burst through doors and use force against women and children. Many people live in constant fear, fear they may get shot or thrown in jail without reason. Caught in the middle of a war between the resistance and the army are innocent people and their families. One such innocent man was arrested three years ago for giving shelter to a militant. He still awaits a fair trial, while his wife and two children continue to suffer. वैसे जो यहाँ पर जो जाम मस्जिद है जो वो कभी यहाँ पर बांध नहीं होना है क्योंकि ये अपना अपना धर्म है जैसा ही हिंदू का अपना धर्म है हमारा भी अपना मुसलमान है हमारा मस्जिद बांध नहीं होना चाहिए your political rights, your civil rights, your religious rights uh, are being completely usurped. You know, I mean, Kashmir is a, is a, is a predominantly Muslim uh, state and, you know, you are not allowing Muslims uh, to pray in the biggest mosque, of, apart from the politics of, 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 of Kashmir and being the head of the Horiyat Conference. I am also the Mirwai, the religious head of Kashmiri Muslims. For the past uh, seven years, I have not been allowed to, uh, you know, uh, go for Eid prayers because after 2010, it's been a continuous, uh, uh, you know, uh, process of, of house arrest. And the fact is that, you know, they don't they don't give you anything in writing. You know, they don't let they don't tell you that you are under house arrest. They will come and put a military jeep or a police jeep and and, and you know block your gate, and they say that you can't go out. Uh, but you know, uh, because we understand that we are under oppression, we are under un, under subjugation, and because they have the numbers, they have the military. I mean, what what can people do when they come early Friday mornings and they lock down the gates and they close down the whole area there's only military military jeeps army jeeps i mean it's like a it's like a war zone the young boys educated boys you know are so desperate that they are taking up the arms they're taking up guns and 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 and, and getting consumed in the conflict and getting killed we don't want that i mean they do get emotional and they pick up the stones and they start stone pelting on 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 the forces uh, uh, because they feel that they, there is they have no other they have no other way to uh, you know uh, vent their feeling <laughs> The once prosperous Kashmir had been an object of envy to other parts of India. The local economy flourished thanks to tourism, trade and business. On the waters surrounding Srinagar float more than 2,000 luxury houseboats that used to satisfy the needs of even the most exacting visitors. Now most of them lay vacant, their owners bankrupt. The brutal reality is that the conflict has put countless people on the brink of extreme poverty. Homeless and helpless, people flood the streets. With nowhere else to turn, many of them become beggars. In desperate times, they are ready to do anything to survive. When, they, when there's a systematic and institutional repression, you know, uh, given uh, the army that impunity, that illegal impunity, because the army is operating under here under the law called Armed Forces Special Powers Act, which gives complete impunity to them. They can't be prosecuted. They can't be taken to court of law. And uh, for whatever they do here, the rapes, disappearance, you know, torture, uh, uh, arrests, or even uh, destroying the property of the people. So 
it is uh, it is the crimes against humanity you know we have nearly 8000 people who have been subject to enforced disappearance you know by the army there are more than 2000 people disappeared from punch a rajuri area it is in jammu region so there are nearly 5000 confirmed the mass graves meaning unknown graves because we believe that the disappeared people are buried there you know because there's a connection between the disappearance and the mass grave. In spite of their difficult position, Kashmiris still try to maintain a simple life filled with love and joy. Like anywhere else in the world, children laugh and play while their parents work hard, doing their best to make a living. The family bonds and friendships are valued here like nowhere else in the world. Despite the hardships and suffering, local people remain exceptionally hospitable and friendly. Any visitor of the marvellous Kashmiri Valley can expect to be greeted with love and respect. Still, deep inside, every Kashmiri knows that the current peace is fragile. At any moment, the streets of Srinagar can turn into a bloodbath. With every day comes new orphans, new widows, and ever more parents who never get to see their children again. इस कौम के हर गली कोचे में शहीदों के कब्रिस्तान आबाद इसलिए आप ही दम दम ही आपकी कत्लगार अच्छी तहरी का आजादी खत्म नहीं हो सकती है आपके हिंदुस्तान की आप पूरी तहरी की आजादी में सिर्फ एक दुनिया वाला बात का ऑपरेशन है जबकि कश्मीर के हर टाउन में दुनिया वाला बात का एक ऑपरेशन किया गया है ये तहरी By the Armed Forces Special Power Act, officers and soldiers are not to be prosecuted by the civil courts unless specifically permitted by the central government. This lack of accountability has triggered numerous human rights violations from the army. Official statistics suggest 8,000 people have disappeared, more than 100 women raped, nearly 400 killed and more than 2,000 cases of torture. Uh, and we lost our father but that tragic day of 21st May 1990 continues to be the blackest day of Kashmir history because that was the day when my father's uh, you know, dead body was being carried towards our old ancestral house in, 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 in downtown. And that, when the, when the procession you know, became bigger and bigger, the Indian forces fired at their procession, at the, at the mourners, and uh, you know, 61 people were killed on that day. And, uh, and more than 70, 75 people got injured. Even the dead body of my father received bullets. Uh, so that was that continues to be the, one of the darkest black chapters of Kashmir history. Up after that, we saw so many massacres. You know, I mean, in fact, one is tomorrow. You know, we are commemorating one massacre of, of Gao Kadam. Fifty people were killed in 1990 uh, in that area. So after that, we had the Handwara massacre, and then we had the, the you know, um, the Kupwara massacre. And that's what we said yesterday in our press conference that you know, the government of India has never apologized to what their forces have done. You know, forget apologizing. There has been no commission. There has been no investigation. Nobody has been booked. I mean, I, I talked about all those massacres. Not a single person has been charged uh, 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 and, 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 and justice done to those families. To the Kashmiri people, a normal life is Orwellian surveillance by the army house arrests and street riots. Children have been forced to shed the skin of innocence, the elderly to turn a blind eye to their weak bones, and compassion has turned to an ongoing struggle. Still, in spite of these struggles, the hearts of the Kashmiris are warm, filled with kindness and generosity, each one of them craving for an end to this ferocious conflict. ये अल्लाह जानता है आगे क्या होएगा इसमें अंदर कुछ नहीं पसंद ये सब ऊपर वाले क्या हैं